So what I've done with my UFO is I've taken a simple sphere coloured red, here it is here, and I've put it into a cloner, which I've just turned on, to make the windows. So the cloner, if we go into its object tab, is a radial cloner, which makes it a, a ring of clones, uh, and I can choose how many I want with the count, and I can choose their radius, how far apart that ring of clones is. So really simple tool, really useful uh, for making you know, rings of copied objects. So this looks good, but I'd like some variation in color on my clone. And the clones just take the color from the material that they're given, which in this case is a red color. But what I can do is I can apply an effector to this cloner. So the way that all these MoGraph tools work, and cloner is a MoGraph tool, is that you create clone, uh, MoGraph objects using one of these MoGraph uh, creation tools, and then we use effectors, which are like, well, they're effects, to change how these cloned or these MoGraph objects work. So what I can do is I can go to my, uh, my cloner and make sure it's selected. If I have this selected and I make an effector, that effector is automatically attached to this MoGraph object. If I have nothing selected and create an effector, it's not going to affect that. <clears throat> so ideally what we want to do is select the thing that we want to affect, select the MoGraph object we want to affect, and go MoGraph effector, and I'm going to create a shader effector. Now probably what will happen is your clones might change, that's fine. Now I'm just going to show you as well what happens if we don't have this um, MoGraph object selected when we create the shader. So I'll just delete that one. Okay, I'm going to deselect everything. MoGraph effector shader, so nothing happens, it's not doing anything to my cloner, <clears throat> but what I can do, if I want to attach it afterwards, I can select my MoGraph object, go into the effectors tab, and this will list any effectors that are affecting this MoGraph object, and if my shader effector isn't in there, I can just drag and drop it into that list, so now it's doing its thing. So ideally when you're creating effectors, have your MoGraph objects selected and they'll be automatically connected, but if you don't, that's fine. You can just go into the Effector tab of any MoGraph object and pull in the effector. Okay, so let's find out what the Shader Effector is doing. So what a Shader Effector does is it changes different parameters of the clones based on an actual color or a material. Now we don't want to change any of these parameters. I don't want to change the position or the scale, which we can see is what's happening here. I don't want to change that. I want to actually change the colors. So I'm going to turn off the scale. So now my shader effector is not really doing anything. But what I do want to do is I want to go into its shading tab and I want to create a gradient of colors to go around my clones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my shading tab for my shader effector and this is like a material in our material editor. We can click this little arrow here and we get all the materials that we normally get when we're making a material in our editor. So in my shader effector, go to the shading tab and I want to make a gradient. Okay, the next thing I want to do, if I go into this gradient, so I'm just going to click on it. Um, I know there's actually some really good preset gradients in here. So I'm going to hit the load preset button and I want to create a gradient of colors that go around this. Um, I'm going to use this one, it's called Flame 2. It's kind of orangey and red, but it's got a bright part in it. Now, you can pick any gradient you want if, you, if you're following along here. I'm going to grab this one, which means that hopefully we'll get a, a gradient of, of orangey colors with one bright point. So that's the gradient there. Now, nothing's happening on my cloner yet because it still has the old uh, material on it. What I want to do is go back to my shader, go to its parameters and make sure color mode is on, and I'm going to delete the old material of my cloner. So how did you select the flame? 